The sponsor says that bill is intended to answer critics who question why police get to police themselves. One of the bills discussed Wednesday calls for the state prosecutor's office to investigate excessive force cases and any criminal offense committed by an officer. This only addresses the investigation. It still leads um, the initial right of refusal, if you will, um, to the, the state's attorney. So the state's attorney still has the ability to prosecute anything that happens within their jurisdiction. This only pertains to the investigation. The legislation requires a state prosecutor to establish a pool of investigators and staff. The investigator must be a currently employed police officer anywhere in the state. Baltimore County State's Attorney Scott Schellenberger opposes the measure. He maintains his office has a constitutional mandate to prosecute. Most state's attorney's offices don't do investigations anyway, he says, and farming out investigations would be cost prohibitive. You're now talking about um, the state prosecutor handling every police involved incident of violence and shooting in 24 jurisdictions all over the state. The current state prosecutor says his office can handle the expanded duties. We have the necessary jurisdiction and independence to address any official misconduct, including police use of force violations. Given adequate resources, we could take on this new role. Although intended to bring about accountability is utterly flawed, um, an idea that misses the mark and will interject partisan politics into whether or not police are actually held accountable. Other bills under consideration address public access to police body-worn camera footage. In addition, if an officer turns the camera off, their statements will not be admissible in court. Another proposal alters the limits on financial liability surrounding police misconduct cases. There's a proposal requiring drug and alcohol testing after civilian fatalities and mandatory psychological testing. Late this afternoon, people injured by police testified how current law capping awards makes it difficult to pay medical bills. Tomorrow, the same committee will take up two bills related to the law enforcement officer's Bill of Rights. Reporting live from the Bishop Robinson Police Headquarters downtown, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.